Hello, it's Sarah. I have a little project share and I just wanted to tell you guys about this little cat. It's all done and I didn't do the back yet. This is mine. Uh, these are all jelly prints and it's a tutorial that I did by Diane Salter and it's on her blog and I'll put the link in the description box. Um, pretty much I just love her work I love her style all the bright color those of you who watch my videos know I love the bright colors um, but this is basically I mean what I did here you know in my little um, jelly print little journal here that I made right these are oh excuse me these are all jelly prints that I made the book with and um, it's just a file folder that I glued together back to back to make these pages kind of thick and then I made little characters or I just put heart balloons shapes in there and made them um, into heart balloons little houses but they're all made from jelly prints and jelly prints are you know you use the jelly plate it's made of like a gelatin it's over there so I can't grab it um, but I can show you, I did do, because for this piece, and this basically I followed along with her color, um, the way she did it. So, I mean, I, had, I didn't have a lot of blue in my stash, so I made a lot of blue jelly prints. I needed a nice yellow one for the moon. Um, so I played yesterday, because these are some, this was just sitting here too, because I knew I wanted to show you. These were some that I had done previously and just made this journal. Um, and maybe I will play in here a little bit in order to come up with my designs, because I am going to continue doing this. I really love the feel of it and the look of it, and I have so many surfaces that I can cover. This is a tissue box cover. I think I got this at AC Moore. I'm pretty sure, or Michael's, um, and it's paper mache. So I don't know how it'll hold up with all the media because you have to use um, Mod Podge or Podge Podge or uh, gel medium, something to get the, or matte medium to get the paper on there. And that, so it is a layering process. And then I have this little paper mache house that I am totally going to do. So excited. I think I might do this today. I just feel like doing doing this one. Add color to that. Look, it's this like bland color. Boom, I'm gonna put so much color. So these are just some of my jelly prints and I am no expert. Sorry, I'm grabbing a folder here. I am no expert, but I know that you can touch things up. You can, all this extra stuff, like I didn't do anything extra. This is just a jelly print from the jelly plate. That's what I got. This one I added some stamping and some bottle cap, you know, with paint. So you can jazz them up a little bit afterward if you feel it just needs it, if it, it's, if it didn't have enough oomph for it, you know. Um, which these, I don't know. I'm no expert, like I said. Um, I'm not thrilled with a lot of them. I, you know, I'm learning. I use my metallic paints in there and stuff, but I think I like, I need to learn how to layer the color better. I like these. The yellows turned out really good. This one turned out pretty cool too. I like that a lot. Oh, gosh, scared me. Sorry. Um, anywho, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is actually done on, um, this is the Michaels brand of cardstock, the white cardstock that you get. And I hear I hear a lot of people use Staples cardstock. So I may want to go get some Staples cardstock cuz it Oh my lord. Cuz this is really thick. It's my son. I'm going to call him in a second. Um so anyway, I guess I uh, I'll make this cut this short since he seems to want to talk to me. All right. Um but yeah, so I'll put the the um, the link for Diane Salter's blog in the description box. And this is my little cat. Remember, she has she doesn't have templates or anything, but you make a template. So you draw everything out, make a template, and then cut it out of your jelly prints. 
and that's basically it. I mean, it's not rocket science, you know. Um, but it was nice to have uh, a guide there because you, you guys know I loved uh, love to have that. Uh, all right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.